when I thought it couldn't get any better. Melanie Martinez, we found the deluxe edition off the Portals album. Three more songs we get to do today. Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist from Reaction Therapy, mental health awareness to the world, what we're doing. You come on this ride with me. And look, I am suited up for today. It's a red carpet affair without further ado. Here we go. Three songs, not one, not two, but three more from Melanie. Can't wait to see what y'all say about these. Powder's the first song up. Let's get it. about like cocaine you know the powder i don't want to ask questions like i'd rather just kind of not know what you're doing <sighs> when you're not here something's going on man but you got blood running down your nose which happens from snorting cocaine I'd rather stay naive it's just too much sometimes it's too much to take on to believe that somebody's either doing something wrong they're doing something against you or to undermine you or it's just too heavy and too heartbreaking to have to confront. This happens in relationships all the time. It can be cocaine, but it can also just be somebody cheating. It can be somebody who's lost in some other type of addiction. And, boy, you glamorize your pain. Wear it on display. Act like it's just awesome. It's just wonderful. That is so sad, but what a way to say it. Yes. can't even I, I I didn't expect the beat I thought it was going to be this very sad somber song all the way through about heartbreak and losing someone and seeing them just wither away but then she drops the beat in like that and listen to that lying loud cut your face when you're hurt I can't answer now spent the rent one way street clean it up I'm reading the, the halves of these lines. Spent the rent one way street, clean it up. It's yours to decide. You know, having good, healthy boundaries with people, especially people who are just circling the drain and going downhill. They are going nowhere fast. In fact, they're getting worse. Addiction to progressive illness, you've got to know this. So anybody struggling with something like that is not going to get better just by you wishing them well and by you trying to pick them up and scrape them off and wipe the dust off. They need help and they have to go get help. That's why mental health matters. Therapy matters. When I see people, I can I can bring an, an addict in my office who I think really needs help and is in a bad way. It's going to take a lot of work, but they can get it. And I can also bring one in that they're not done and I can tell they've got more to do. They're going to bring everyone around them down. And you've got to reach a point here where you finally say enough is enough, I can't help you, I can't answer the call anymore. It's too hurtful, and I'm not the one to help you. You have to help yourself by finding help, and that's the key. No addict in, in serious trouble is gonna be able to help themselves. They're going to need support. That's 12-step program, that's detox, rehab, therapy, all kinds of different things that can help, but what a way to put, did you hear her put all these out one by one? I've said it before and I'll say it again, your mental health matters and BetterHelp is here to answer the call. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P is the sponsor of today's video and I'm super excited, you know why, because I've talked about getting therapy myself. I'm a therapist, we need our own help. Your therapist needs their own help. What better way if you can't find somebody in your area or somebody you connect with to try out therapy than to go to BetterHelp by following the link in the description. 
betterhelp.com slash reaction therapy. They will set you up with a licensed therapist, answer a few questions. Typically within 48 hours, they're going to get back with you and set you up with someone who you could work with. And you know what's great about it? If it's not a great fit, you can switch to somebody else. If you don't like talking face-to-face -face on video chat, you can message, you can talk by phone. There's so many different options and the flexibility to find someone who works with your specific issue is what makes BetterHelp separate from so many other online platforms. Look, BetterHelp has over 30,000 therapists in their network, which gives you access to a whole range of expertise. And you know what? Over 4 million people have tried BetterHelp to date. You'll be able to schedule your therapy sessions at any time that's convenient for you. And if you don't like your therapist, you can switch. I've tried it. I really do think it would be great for you to try it. And you get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp if you use our link. If you use betterhelp.com slash reaction therapy, you will get 10% off your first month and give it a try. It can't hurt. I know starting therapy can be tough, but it is worth the try. Give it a try. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and go to the link and start your journey today. The rent. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Go help yourself open the million doors. Man, I've done everything I can do. And listen to how she says, show me a picture you paint of someone else, almost like this alter image of who you are when it's really not who you are at all. Lived a double life. Wish I was surprised. I wish I was surprised that you lived two different lives, two different people, and kept this secret all along, or at least tried to. But I'm not surprised because it's who you are. Who is this about? I wonder who she's talking about because I don't think it's her, but who would this have been about? So sad to see a, somebody you think can be so much and you could be so much more with them, but they are choosing to ruin their lives. And addiction does that. It is a killer. It will take you down and everyone around you will push them away. Help yourself open the million doors. You never go its past point of no return. When will we learn to let me when this shit is over? Lying loud. Yep. 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 Yep.
Yep. Is there anything coming at the end of this? Okay, I'm gonna go all the way up to the end just in case. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know. No transition there, but what was that sound? And who was this about? Y'all, this is such good material. If I ever get the opportunity and the fortune to be able to talk to her, meet her, and, and ask questions about things like this. Because there can be some real personal experience that a person's been through, that she's been through, that she could put out in music. And there can also be a message that can be put out in music. And the message here that I read, no matter who it is, is number one, when somebody's hurting and struggling, you can't just pretend it's not there. And you can only help so much before they have to be able to help themselves. And secondly, having good healthy boundaries and knowing what your line is and when have you given more than you can? And when do you need to say, it's time for me to step aside? So critical with this, what great material. Oh my gosh, this is so good. All right, on to the second song, which is Pluto. I gotta pull up lyrics for this because clearly I'm gonna need these, right? What could Pluto be about? It's the thing way out. Was a planet that's not a planet, it's a planet again. I don't know what it is, but it's way out there in space. Whew. Man, so glad I dressed up for this today. This is, I'm, I'm partly just really sad and hopeful that a new album comes out soon from her and that I get to see her for her trilogy tour. Oh my gosh. And then partly excited because it's more Melanie. Without further ado, there we go. It's Melanie Martinez and Pluto. I'm hauling an outdated show. Help me let go. The walls around me are so close. Mm. Yep. The seeds have been spotted. I'm no longer doubting. I think that it's finally time. Pluto destroy me. Kill me all slowly. What is Pluto representing? It's like, take me out. Get rid of me. Be done with me. It's finally time. Time for what? Me. Kill me all slowly. Mm. I'll bathe in my ashes, rise like a phoenix. Phoenix, Tell me who I am becoming. Pluto, transform me. Turn off my lonely. I'll sit with my silence, fix all my conflict. Show me the God, this is like a revelation. This is like unveiling all of her. Pluto, all right. Just tear me up, burn me to ashes. You know, rising like a phoenix, just whoop, into the sky and transform me. And then it steps in to turn off my lonely. Get rid of my lonely. I'll sit with my silence. By the way, mental health, it's sometimes very good to sit with your silence to sit in quiet, to not disturb and distract and fill things in sometimes, to look in a mirror and really see how you feel about yourself, sometimes super healthy just to sit in the silence. Fix all my conflict and show me the demons I'm hiding. You know, this is part of therapy, y'all, of being able to look at yourself and say, what are the parts of me I like? What are the parts of me I'm sad about? What are the parts I'm angry about? What are the parts I'm embarrassed about? Just all the parts of yourself. And... What do you want to do about those? What do you want to do with those? How do you want to transform yourself? How do you want to make yourself in the future that you aren't now? I love this transformation thing. Yeah. 
Yep. There's nothing in this tire town for me. No more. One spot's a home is a hell I can't manage. Yep. So send me in a pack and it up. Everything's blurry. I don't wanna worry. The pain from this growing is raw. Woo! destroy me. Kill me off slowly I'll bathe in my ashes Rise like a phoenix Show me who I am Become yeah. Good old transform Come on. me <clears throat> Turn off my lonely I'll sit with my silence Fix all my conflict Show me the demons I'm hiding ah. Almost feel like it's her saying, I want to get rid of who I was. I want to just destroy who I was, which not is not always a bad thing. I want to become something else, which I interpret as someone else. And will you please help me get rid of all the old toxic stuff and help me become the real person that I need to be? And y'all, there is hope there. Sometimes it takes help. That's why she's calling Pluto. I don't know, man, Pluto's the thing's way far away. So maybe just take me far away. Take me far away from where I am, all the way out into space. Let me become a someone else. And y'all remember this. That's what therapy is so good, I think, when it's good, is because it's somebody that can help you walk through that. They don't tell you who you're supposed to be. If they're good, they're going to help you walk through the process of seeing who you really are and who you want to be and walk alongside you while you become that. So that's the purpose of it is you revealing and understanding and transforming who you are away from who you were into who you want to be. It's such a cool process. And this, listen, man, show me the demons I'm hiding. The demons I'm hiding. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. All the way to the end, Melanie Martinez, Pluto. Which brings in the whole, you know, that first song, a powder, and just the sadness of being in a place with somebody who is destroying their life and struggling. You got to set the boundaries around it. And this one is to myself, like, help me become something new to transform and be done with the old, which is pretty, pretty cool. I love this these pieces of becoming who you really need to be, not having someone tell you who you need to be. And not becoming somebody just to please other people, but really who you are. And on to the final song of this three-song deluxe EP of the Portals album. Melanie Martinez, Milk of the Siren. You know those sirens who sing that beautiful song and lure you in, but they're really there for danger. Watch out. All right, everybody, buckle up. Let's do this without further ado. It's Melanie Martinez, Milk of the Siren. Drink from the land of sirens. Some in the sailors in town. Hmm. Oh, listen to that. Hmm, this is intense. What? Ah! Engraved in our memory the harm. Totally switching everything up here. A completely different beat that shocks me. Start slow, bam, and then Ah. By sword swinging men who would always 
All the trauma from the past, y'all, all the things that you go through, you know, the parenting stuff being raised, it's not, this isn't pointing fingers, y'all gotta know this. You gotta separate the feelings from the reality of what happened, and sometimes there's a reality. It's like, you don't wanna sit there and just blame and accuse everybody. You want to point out what really happened in life, and sometimes people have been through hard times. Sometimes the parenting wasn't the most amazing. Sometimes... The relationships weren't good at all and people mistreated you and put you down and abused or manipulated or gaslit or did all kinds of things. And that whole piece right there to me is like, man, we've been through a lot. It is time to recognize what's happened to me, to you, and what am I going to do about it? Because so many, the mothers, the witches, they banished and burned, all of our sisters were killed and abused. And that to me is like emotionally by sword swinging men who would always accuse. Sword swinging men who would always accuse. Don't keep those guys around. good at empowerment and saying <laughs> just, just I don't <laughs> she's just good at this man codependency don't do it Destroy all the land Be little power mm. Of the feminine hand I never want my wife to feel that way That was such a beautiful way of saying Women get mistreated They get uh, manipulated They get controlled And it's not okay And it's time to have boundaries and stand up And also practice your picking Of who you're with Because some of these men I, I don't, I'm, a, I'm a guy <laughs> I appreciate, I honor, and I respect the women in my life, especially my wife, and she comes first. And she's my best friend, and I want to do everything I can to let her know she's the most amazing thing in my life, and she's the most incredible person in my life, and she gives me memories and appreciation, and uh, I honor her. But when you, when you list this tenderness worn on the skin like a dress nurture these men, pull them out of their mess, do everything to take care of them, try to help them, try to make them better or feel better about themselves. They steal the resources, destroy all the land, which to me is taking advantage of just use you for sex or use you for whatever they want. And it's not okay. Belittle the power of the feminine hand. Don't do that, guys. Just don't do that. Resources destroy all the land.
EP. Oh, don't feel bad when these drown. These guys drown. Don't feel bad. I just, I don't even know where to go with that because it was such a potent and powerful ending to things for me. And I'm so glad I got to hear that because it's kind of this final statement of, look, you deserve better. You can, I know you can have a better relationship. I know you can be treated better. And one of the things I think she does is empower women to be able to say, stand up for who you are and know that you deserve that. And that doesn't mean you you be that mean to somebody else. That really just means know what you're worth and have people around you that understand that, just like I do with my wife. And I think Melanie's really cool. I would love to meet her one day and just say thank you because these messages can go directly into the lives of my clients I work with in my office. Like, look at these words and how they're said and how does it relate to the relationship that you're in and and maybe what you need to get out of or what you need to be able to practice standing up for, have boundaries and say, no more. I got to be that way. But thank you also to Melanie's faithful followers who stay with me and support me and have made comments to help educate me and let me learn what all of this is about because this was really cool and I cannot wait to see what she creates next and hopefully, fingers crossed, get to go see her on the Trilogy Tour when she hits Houston, Texas. Oh my gosh, it would be so cool just to even be in that arena with everybody who loves... I'm sure I'd stand out like a sore thumb, my, my old self being in there, but I would still rock it like nobody's business. Look, this isn't real therapy, it's just how I'm breaking down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. We have resources there, but also leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And I say thank you so much for being a part of Reaction Therapy and everything that we've done regarding Melanie Martinez. And let's move on to the next. Remember, mental health matters. Let's spread it to the world. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy. <laughs> <laughs>